Hello everyone. Today I'm going to uh, demonstrate a basic self-driving car model using Audacity Car Driving Simulator. In this project, we will be building a convolution neural network model to predict the steering angle for a virtual car and the simulator running at a constant speed. The goal is to drive the car and the simulator autonomously for a full lap without deviating from the main track. As a first step, we will show uh, the neural network how to drive in the track. Okay. And this is nothing but the uh, training process. And once the model trained, then we will use the trained model for uh, controlling the car in the simulator. So that's nothing but the deployment part. The complete process is divided into five major steps and uh, they are first one uh, setting up the environment and then uh, setting up the audacity driving simulator then creating a training and test data from the simulator uh, and then the crucial part build and train the model with the collected data and finally we'll be testing our model and the uh, simulator let's begin our project with the first step so setting up the environment First of all, create a, a project folder. Maybe you can name it as autopilot project. And then create a, a subfolder named dataset to store our training and testing data from the simulator. Okay, after that, clone this self-driving car repository as well as a behavioral cloning P3 repository to your project folder. After this, uh, download the pre-built simulator for our project from Audacity self-driving car repository. So maybe you can go to the repository and you can see term 1, term 2 and term 3 release pages and also you can uh, like you know explore different uh, simulators available and their use cases. But for our project we need term 1 simulator. So uh, the command is already provided in the page. Use wget command to download it. Once it is downloaded, extract uh, the simulator in the same project folder and convert the binary file downloaded into an executable using uh, sudo chmod command. Next step, we will be uh, collecting the data from the simulator for training and testing purpose. So for that, first launch the uh, pre-built simulator from the terminal and uh, then use the record option in the simulator to collect the data while you are driving in the simulator. First of all, open a terminal for uh, launching our pre-built simulator. Launch the simulator and in the first window itself, you can select the resolution and the quality of your simulation instance and select it. And then once you are in, you can see the control details. Just check it and then uh, you launch the training mode. Now uh, click on the record button and uh, select your recording uh, location that means the train data folder and uh, align your vehicle then click again on the record button and start driving now drive the car for seven to eight laps continuously and make sure that the car is always within the track because here the neural network model is learning based on your driving data simply here you will be a teacher and the neural network model will be a student so your student will learn whatever you are showing to him so if you drive well, then your model also learn well, simple. Once you finish the driving, just click on that record button again so that the simulator will start writing the recorded data to the destination folder. So the writing process is a bit slow. Uh, it will take a few minutes to complete. drive the car in the opposite direction so that it will get more diverse data once you finish recording training data then relaunch the simulator and repeat the same process for test data collection
After data collection, the next step is to build and train the model with the collected data. Before that, just have a look at the data folder that we created before. The generated data contains an image folder and a driving log CSV file. The image folder contains the camera images from the virtual car and the CSV file uh, represents the full driving log including camera images as well as the sensor values. Okay, and this CSV file will be the input to our uh, training process. Next, train our model with model train.py script. Before that, activate the Anaconda environment. Then uh, change the working directory to self-driving car directory. And then uh, run model underscore train.py script with two argument. The first argument should be path to a driving CSV file of the train data set. And the second argument should be uh, the CSV file of the test data set. By default, the model will uh, train for 50 epochs at a batch size of 32. If you want to change it, you can change it in the command line itself. Once you start the training, you can check the progress in train.log file, which is generated in the same directory. The best models generated by training process for each learning rate will be kept under models directory. So this models will be used for our testing purpose in the following step. You can find the training history from train.log file and also you can identify which model achieved the minimal loss during a testing and training time. And uh, you can finalize which model you need to consider for testing. We will be using drive.py from the behavioral cloning project folder in order to uh, test our generated models. The Python script uh, is responsible for communicating with the simulator and get the virtual camera image from the car. And this image will be given to the trained model. And the out model output or the predicted steering angle will be sent back to the simulator to drive the car. So in effect, the model will be controlled in the car in the simulator. Now let's uh, launch the simulator in autonomous mode to test our generated models. Once the window is open, you can select the autonomous mode and enter the simulator. At the same time, you just try to run drive.py with one of the generated model as the command line parameter. Okay. Okay, you can see the first one was a complete disaster. Okay, we'll try the second one. It's a bit okay. Okay, that crossed the line. Still it is in the track, but yeah, it's again went off the track. Let's try the third one. Okay, it failed in the initial stage itself. Okay, next one. Mm, left correction is not happening. Okay, it went off the track. Uh, this model looks a bit uh, promising. It's able to make the left curve. Okay. Oh, but a slight deviation from the track, but still car is on the track. Let's see how it will take the hard left. Oh, it crossed the straight line. I think it will still go. Oh no, that's again. This model also look fine at the beginning. Let's see how it will progress. Slight left curve is okay and still on the track. Let's see how it will cross the hard left. Oh, that's also good. Now, oh, it went off the track. Okay. This model looked fine. Basically, this was the model which, which had less uh, lows 
during the training time. So I feel it will perform well. Yeah, true. It's almost completing the first lap. Yeah, successfully finished the lap. So we have a good model, but uh, I'm not telling that it's a perfect one. Okay. If you want to get a uh, generalized model, what you can do is like you can uh, create a log. I mean, a uh, lot of data by driving for a uh, long laps and then training your model again and again with different hyperparameters. Tune the hyperparameters and obtain the best model. Yep, that's for today. And thanks for watching. Bye.